In this video, we're going to start looking at a two-week project that we're going to be working on that includes a full application with a user interface that talks to a database. And I've prepared an example program and uh, put that in a Git repository on GitHub. So let me go ahead and start by opening Git Bash. And I've created a folder for my 133Y repos, and it's in my home directory in um, downloads, 133Y repos. And I'm going to git clone https github.com 133Y. And the project is imdb browser dot git. Good, so that worked. I'm going to cd into my imdb browser folder and I'm on the master branch. So the file, uh, so the project has um, three separate files. It uses a three-tier architecture and I'll be talking about what that is in a later video. Um, but there's a data layer um, which has a database class which talks to the database. Um, and then there's a logic layer, um, which includes right now just a show class that wraps up information about shows from the IMDb Internet Movie Database. And finally, there's a user interface in IMDb Browser, um, which includes a UI that I put together using PyGubu Designer. And so here's the PyGubu Designer XML file that holds the interface. So just four, four files for this project, um, but, uh, um, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's there. So I'm going to start PyCharm. And I'm just going to use um, PyCharm Community here, but any version of PyCharm will work. So here's my... PyCharm community. And you should have already installed PyGubu and PyGubu Designer into your um, Python library folders. Um, I did that in um, a lecture video on PyGubu. Um, this time I'm just going to go ahead and open the project that I just cloned into my downloads folder. Downloads. 133Y repos. Here's the IMDB browser. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on imdbbrowser.py and select run. And this may take a minute or so to start up because it's got to fetch some data from the database before it even opens the user interface. And we're going to be using the cisdbss.pcc.edu um, server that we use for CIS 275, which is our SQL programming course. And that's not a particularly fast machine. So depending on what the load is like, it may take a while. OK, so here it is. So when it pops up, what I have is um, some combo boxes. So I can search by genre. So for example, um, let me go ahead and search for science fiction movies. So here are the top 50 most highly rated science fiction movies from Internet Movie Database that had 10,000 or more ratings. And if I want to switch to, let's go um, fantasy instead. And then TV series. So here are the most highly rated fantasy TV series on IMDb. Interestingly enough, The Filthy Frank Show is really highly rated. Um, who would have thought? OK, so these numbers of votes um, if you want to strip off things that are maybe a little less well known, um, for this particular category, I can bump this up to 50,000. 
And uh, so here are the things with 50,000 or more votes that are fantasy TV series. Okay, so um, we're going to be building this interface and then the project that you're putting together um, is going to be similar to this, except instead of retrieving television shows from, or I'm sorry, just shows in general from IMDB, um, you're going to be retrieving names from the um, names database that's also on the um, database server. So we'll talk more about the actual project requirements after we've looked at um, putting together the IMDB browser application.